All right, you guys, welcome to my studio. It's very much a mess right now, but we're in the studio, and we're going to be focusing on the drawers right down there. I'm going to show you guys my whole entire skincare collection. Well, not the entire thing, because we have some over there, some over there, some up there. But for the most part, my skincare collection right now as it is. Let's do this. Alright guys, so this is my primer drawer. I don't know if this is really considered skincare, but I decided to add it in there and show you anyway. I kind of separated this in some sort of format here. We have eye primers directly in the middle. Then we have mini primers in the back right here. On this side we have like blurring primers and pore filling primers illuminating primers right here and then we have kind of like random more hydrating primers and color correcting primers back here so this is my whole primer drawer right here I keep all my setting sprays in a different drawer except for except for that guy right there but so this drawer right here is my setting spray drawer I have just all my setting sprays stacked on top of each other if you guys are seeing these wired cage whatever these are called, holders. They are from the dollar store. They're very helpful for big products like this, but not so much for like lipsticks or eyeliners or anything like that. But here are all my, my uh, primer waters or setting sprays. Here's my favorite guy right here. Love, love, love the Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist. It's almost gone. Thank God I have another backup right over here. And then I have, I have another one underneath. Um, and then some of my other pr favorite primers would have to be the MAC. Fix Plus, which is back here. Love the Pixie setting sprays. And then we have some Cover Effects, Urban Decay, tons of goodies all in here. Then this next drawer right here, this is where I keep all of my lip stuff. I do keep lip liners in here. We have drugstore lip liners and high ends lip liners. These guys are also from the dollar store. I have a ton of like patches, like there's eye patches in here that wouldn't fit in my other drawer. We have lip balms back here, Pure Lease, I love my Pure Lease lip balm. Some lip scrubs, love these new EOS lip scrub and there's a lip like mask, also from Nug, that one's really cool. And I also keep kind of like my lip balms from Fresh and then we have Awake and Tarte. The ones that are kind of like lip balms but have a little bit of color to them. And some more lip masks, blistics, the whole nine yards in this drawer. Then we move down a couple of drawers. And this drawer starts my face masks. <laughs> it's a little crazy over here with face masks. But this is my main drawer of face masks. I have all the face masks that I have a lot of. So I have a lot of Patchology face masks. A lot of Pure Lease face masks. Love, love, love their new one. Love their new watermelon one. Some more eye patches. Love the Tarte Pack Your Eye Bags. A lot of Innisfree. I'm a lot of Innisfree masks. So we have a ton. We have Shea Butter, Rose. It's a cute little sheet mask weekly. Seven Days of Glowing Skin. Love this little package right here. We have a ton of masks from a company called So AE in the back. Charlotte Tilbury. And actually right here are some of my favorite masks. They're more creative masks. We have some from the Mask Bar, Coco Star. So this one looks like a little monkey. We have one that looks like a smiley face. This is like a gold floral one. Just a ton of really, really cute ones. And then the Coco Star ones look like that. There's like pineapple, lemon, watermelon, aloe, strawberry. Love these masks so much. Then we're going to jump down to the next drawer. So this drawer right here is just some more face masks that just don't have as many parts of their family. There's the Pure Masquerade Mask, which is new. It's a gold hydrating sheet mask. They just came out with it for their 16th, sweet 16th birthday celebration. We have some masks from number seven. Tatcha masks, some really high-end masks over here. Lancome, 
Very expensive ones. Origide. Origald? Origide. I don't know. Meg. More pure. We got a Glam Glow mask. There's a ton, ton, ton of masks. You guys can already tell. And if you know me, you know that I love face masks. A lot of these are from the Face Tori mask box that you get every month. Look at how cute that one is with the little heart eyes. Oh, I love it. <laughs> um, yeah, so Face Tori, you get a whole pack of like five to seven masks per month, I believe, and it's amazing. This really cute one, Mr. Smile Patch, which goes on your smile lines. I just love masks, you guys. I love them. The next drawer are all of my masks that are kind of in like this type of container, like the squeeze tube container. They just kind of like fit best like this all in this drawer just laying down. One of my absolute favorite masks, the Summer Friday Jet Lag Mask. Love this because you can actually just leave it on. You don't even have to take it off. These super cute Tony Molly masks in the little egg. I love them. They're so cute. Some really cool ones from Mask Bar. This is a rose gold peel off mask. Um, we have a Charlotte Tilbury mask, some Pixie, a lot of Nug masks, and these really cute ones. Look, watch. So you see that it looks like an egg? And then it looks like an egg on the inside. <laughs> Same thing with this one. It's an avocado, and then it looks like an avocado with the pit. And then this one is a little seashell. Let me turn it over. It looks like it has a pearl on the inside. So cute. So those are from Vita Masks. Moving on to my last drawer of masks. I know, four drawers of masks. Ridiculous. This is the real mask drawer here. And this one's stuck. Oh, jeez. So this one right here are the masks that are in, like, a glass or round container. I have a ton of masks here, my whole Glam Glow collection, a ton of fresh beauty masks. There's some Lancome right there, Awake, more fresh, Herbivore, L'Oreal, some masks that I've picked up at Riley Rose or from Marshalls, tons and tons of stuff. So tons and tons of masks and a bunch of stuff in this drawer. So then the last drawer that we have here, well, there's two more, but this drawer is all of my toner, and then we have toner pads and, um, like, resurfacing type of stuff. We have the one from Dr. J. Dr. Dennis Gross. Dr. Dr. Dennis Gross. I call him Dr. J. Dr. J. And we have, um, oh, my God, we have another dewy skin mist. My life has been made. I forgot about this guy. I sometimes keep some of my setting sprays in here too, just in case the top has run out. As you can see, I'm having issues trying to get everything to fit in here. But there's tons of stuff in here. We even have this really cool mask that's in here because it doesn't fit anywhere else. <laughs> but that's this drawer, just a bunch of toners and um, pads and setting sprays and just a bunch of things like that. Then we finally go to the last drawer. This one is so heavy and actually this drawer is kind of breaking so I'm afraid to open it. But this is my moisturizer drawer. Lots and lots of moisturizers. We have some Kiehl's, we have some Winky Lux, Glow Recipe, obsessed with their moisturizer. We have another one actually right over there that I bought myself. We have some more Tatcha Water Cream, Tar H2O, Love those so much. Estee Lauder, Charlotte Tilbury, Pure, uh, Pureology, I'm sorry. I mean, Philosophy. I just bought this. This is my first time trying Philosophy. Only product that I own from them. Really like it so far. But, yeah, there's only moisturizer. And you guys, it's hard to see, but there are... There is a ton of stuff in the back that we're missing because these drawers don't pull out all the way or else they'll break. But for the most part, that's, that's that. Let me travel over here to the other side of my makeup collection. We have a couple drawers over here. As I told you guys, I am going to be fixing this a little bit. I'm going to be making some changes in my skincare collection. I'm going to be getting more drawers to fit it in because... 
it's just a mess. So this drawer right here was kind of like a mix of my eye creams and also my serums and oils. I put them in here because a lot of them have to stand, I don't know, I feel like they have to stand up straight or else they'll like leak everywhere. So this drawer has just become a nuisance because I've been getting so many serums and eye creams and things lately that I just don't have room for all of them in this one drawer. So I'm going to have to make some changes. But there's some Pola Choice in here, some Belief, Dr. Brandt, Elf, More Fresh, Love Fresh, Pixie, um, Patchology, eye masks. You could see that I already have some of a collection of eye masks in here. So just a bunch of stuff in here. One of the drawers that I definitely have to make some changes in. The next drawer underneath is a bunch of extra skincare, especially lotions. This was kind of like my lotion drawer so we have my brew mo lotions and moisturizers we have some Nivea some hand cream Victoria's Secret we also have what is this a foamy hand so we have this company called Canna Bliss when nourishing body treatment just a ton of moisturizers you guys and there's actually some cool stuff back here that I do want to play with eventually. I've been dying to try this. It's been almost like a year now and I really should try this. I'm going to keep this out actually. This is a permanent hair reduction from Illuminage and I want to try this so badly because I hate the hair underneath my arms and I want to get rid of it. So I'm going to put this inside. We also have this in here you guys. The Neutrogena Light Therapy Acne Mask. Me and both my sister tried it. We didn't see a huge difference in it. Um, yeah, so I, I know that I owed everybody a follow-up on that. But we really didn't see much of a difference. And I felt like it was so hard to keep up with something like that. Because you have to keep it on your face for a while. So in this drawer, right here, we have all of my cleansers, makeup wipes. We have some scrubs in here. Oil cleansers. Kopari. Tarte, some like holders, some scrubs, it cosmetics makeup remover, bye bye makeup, Dermalogica, that's a good one as well. So there's a ton of stuff in here. Another drawer that really needs some saving right now. Um, oh my god. The next drawer is all of my cleansers and some more scrubs. I really don't use cleanser that often, you guys. I do use it in the shower, but that's about it really not all for washing my face um except in the shower because i just i hate the feeling of getting water running down my arms it's just so annoying so all my cleansers are in here they do eventually get used a little bit um so all of those are in here this one's a cute one from tony molly um little latte art strawberry latte scrub so this last drawer right here is where i keep some more scrubs they're kind of scrubs are kind of all over the place they need their own drawer but i have a lot of tanning stuff we have stuff from kula another lotion from belief some glitter lotions from kopari this is my favorite one i love this one a lot of tanners in here we have a tart tanner we have a scar gel in here i don't know what that's doing in here we have this MAC Strobe Body Lotion, which is really pretty. Some more lotions from Sol de Janeiro. So just a ton of really good stuff. We have this guy. I love this from St. Tropez. This is awesome. It's a one-minute gradual tan. You put it on one minute before you shower. It actually works really well. So that is my last drawer. Just a bunch of tanners and oils and um, glitter oils and things like that. And that is final for my skincare collection. Done.